step number one is setting up your bid. The first screen that you'll come to once you've signed in to the Edge Estimator and you've chosen the license that you'd like to use is called the Bid Grid. The Bid Grid shows all of the bids that have been done so far by your company. If you'd like to create a new bid, you'll come to the upper right hand corner and you'll click the blue plus sign, which will open the Bid Properties dialog box. You'll give your new bid a name. This field is the only required field. The other ones are optional. If you'd like to add some digital images to your new bid, you can click Add Images. And it will let you import images from anywhere on your system where you currently have some digital images. You can bring in one image, or you can hold the control button down and bring in multiple images. In this sample estimate, we're going to measure some partitions on the first, second, and third floor plans. We're also going to import some detail images, so we'll hold the control button down those detail images will be used for reference. And we're going to hold the control button down and click on some reflected ceiling tile plans as well. So we'll click open. You will have a thumbnail for each of the images that you have imported into this bid. If you click in the white drawing area of a thumbnail, you'll see the big preview of that image. Click on the white drawing area of another thumbnail and you'll see the big preview for that image and so on and so forth. Now you're going to want to think about which of these images you're actually going to measure the area or the length of partitions or count columns or whatever, if you're going to measure some, you're going to want to create pages in the edge for the ones you want to measure. And you're going to want to fill the checkbox for each of the images that you want to measure. We're going to measure some partitions on the first, second, and third floor. We're not going to do any measuring on these detail images, so we don't need to fill the checkboxes because we're not going to measure on those detail images, but we are going to measure on the reflected ceiling tile plans, so we'll fill the checkboxes there. The detail images will be imported into this job. There just won't be any measurable pages created in the edge. So what we're going to do now, you'll come up here and you'll click on Manage Selected Images. And next to Create As, you'll click the drop down and click Create Page and click Save. That will put the page name for these measurable pages into the column on the right. And then you'll click Continue. Now you'll be in the bid and you will be in the Scenarios breadcrumb in the bid. Above the Scenarios breadcrumb, you see your bid name. Here is Scenario 1. We're going to move forward on Scenario 1, but notice the blue forward arrow is here in this video. On your screen, the blue forward arrow is probably all the way over here to the right, or maybe even farther over to the right, what you can do is come up to the block above the blue forward arrow and hold down your left mouse button, and you can drag it over to the left so it'll be more conveniently located for you. We're going to move forward on Scenario 1 by clicking the blue forward arrow. Now we're in the Sections breadcrumb, 
and you see section one. We're going to click on the blue forward arrow here, and you'll be in the pages breadcrumb. You'll see all of the pages that you have created in your bid. We're going to add some conditions to the first floor plan here. So we're going to move forward on this page. You'll be in the conditions breadcrumb. You currently don't have any conditions here. What you're going to do is click the blue plus sign. Now here in this window we have three columns. We have the column on the left which has categories. We have the column in the middle which is a holding area. And we have the column on the far right. The column on the far right is where we're going to put the conditions that we want to add to this page. Let me show you how to do that. If you click a category, let's click interior walls and counts, we want to add this condition. So we'll fill in the checkbox and click add selected. Now if we want to go to a different category, we can click a different condition and we can fill the checkbox and click add selected. We can go anywhere and add conditions to the column on the right. So now we'll click Add to Page, and we have these conditions on the first floor plan. Well, what if these conditions are the exact same conditions we want on the second and third floor plan? What we can do is mark each of these by clicking the column header for marking all of them. And then we can right click on any one of them and left click on copy. We've just copied the conditions. If we come back to the pages breadcrumb, we can right click on the second floor plan and left click on paste conditions. Yes, we want to paste the conditions. No, we don't want to bring over any measured quantities or entered quantities or colors or details or multipliers because we haven't done any measuring yet. We're going to click Copy. And no, we don't want to change the condition names. We want to keep the same names for the conditions that we had on page one. Let's look at the second floor plan by moving forward and we have those conditions on that page. If we go to the third floor plan, we don't currently have any conditions on the third floor plan. We want to put those same conditions on there. So we're in the pages breadcrumb. If we right click and click paste conditions, we still have those copied conditions in our virtual clipboard. So we'll say yes, we want to paste those conditions, and we'll click copy, and no, we don't want to change the names. So now if we move forward on the third floor plan, we have those same conditions. Now let's go back to the page's breadcrumb. The first floor reflected ceiling tile plan, we want to add a condition here. So we'll come down to acoustic ceilings and generic. And watch this magic. You don't really need to fill the checkbox and click Add Selected. You can get away with just clicking or double-clicking on the condition, and it will go into the margin on the right where you can click Add to Page. Go back to the Pages breadcrumb. Go to the second floor RCP. Click the blue plus sign. Come down to AC Ceilings, Generic Conditions, double click on the 2x2s and add to page. Come back to the Pages breadcrumb, go to the third floor, plus sign, AC Ceilings, Generic Conditions, 2x2s and add to page. Now we have conditions on every one of the pages that we have created in this bid. 
and we have satisfied step number one of an estimate setting up the bid. Thank you for watching.